Good morning, internets. Alrighty, so um, it's a it's still a good day in Las Vegas, and I'm still smiling. But I am parked on the 215 West, and I have no idea why I'm trying to get to the My Vegas office on the west side of the valley. And this time of day, this freeway is normally just flying, so something has happened up ahead, and I really hope everybody's okay. I don't know what's going on, um, but we are just ever so slightly lurching forward in traffic it is backed up as far as the eye can see and have no fear i'm all the way in the left lane and no one's gonna let me get over to get off the freeway so i'm stuck here uh, i have so much to do today and uh and everybody has so much to do today i don't want to be all crappy and feeling sorry for myself i have so much to do today and this traffic jam is all about me and i am the only person who could possibly be inconvenienced by what's going on right now even though you're sitting on a highway with 27,000 other people who are in the exact same damn situation you're in ah say all that out loud to remind myself to not be a ridiculous human um as many of the people out here are being ridiculous humans um and see the person in front of me is trying to get over because um, they don't want to be on the freeway anymore either and no one is letting them get over and there's there's just there's no reason there's no reason letting one person into the lane is not going to change how fast you do or do not get somewhere letting somebody change lanes it's uh, oh and they let them change lanes that's that's lovely good job good job everybody for being decent human beings for four seconds didn't cost you anything traffic jams bring out the absolute worst in people and they make me very wary um, for instance, uh, there is a Hyundai directly behind me that thinks that they're going to be able to solve the traffic jam by parking directly inside my butt is like, when, when the, the, I, this Hyundai keeps getting as close as it possibly can without touching my rear bumper. Um, and that's dangerous behavior. Don't do it. There's no reason, Hyundai. There's no reason. Watch, I'm going to get a little bit ahead right now. That, that there California license plate is going to be freaking kissing my bumper in a second. I just know. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, come on, buddy. You can get a little closer. No, he couldn't. <laughs> so, it's not. Apparently, the traffic jam isn't bringing out the best of me either. It's making me a little bit grumpy. Um, Just want to get where I'm going and do what I'm doing. But it does give me a little bit of time to talk to you guys and make a little bit of a, a post here. Um, about what is going on this weekend. So uh, I mentioned this a couple days ago, um, but we are going to be at um, at Mesquite for the Super Run. Um, there's going to be cars from a couple of different states. We know for sure a lot of Nevada, a lot of Arizona, and a lot of Utah. And I'm sure there's going to be people from other places as well. Um, so this is like a big car event in a really little town. Mesquite isn't it's about an hour away from Las Vegas, and um, it's 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 teensy weensy. There's like a row through the center of it of um, like casinos and and hotels and things, um, and it's it's I don't know I don't I don't really know what the main industry is in Mesquite. I really think it's it's like pass through tourism because um, it has a lot of the same amenities that you have in Las Vegas, only smaller and more affordable without dealing with like the hustle and bustle of Las Vegas without dealing with um, you know, six lanes of stopped like a parking lot traffic. That's a good reason to get out of town for a minute. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, Mesquite's, uh, it, it should be a good show, and I'm looking forward to getting out there and seeing some cars that I, I don't normally get to see. Uh, I love my car shows here in, in town, of course, um, but one of the things that happens is that, you know, I'm pretty active in the automotive community here so I see a lot of the same cars and a lot of the same people all the time which is wonderful um I love seeing the same car especially when you see like hey I've been seeing that car for a couple years now and now they put a new spoiler on it he's lowered it he's changed the wheels he's wrapped it you know what I mean like you get to see what people do over time um and that's that's nice it's also nice to go out and see some new stuff and meet some new people so I'm really looking forward to that so we'll be in Mesquite um um, you know, taking pictures and, and vlogging from, uh, from that event all weekend. We're going to go out tomorrow morning and we'll come back on, on Sunday. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. It's, uh, that's going to be good. Um, and then the rest of the time I'm just, uh, you know, rocking really cool stuff like my Nick Offerman shirt, if you can see here. Yeah. Ron Swanson is my spirit animal. So <laughs> it's Friday and I'm at it into the office. So it seemed really appropriate. And uh, 
yeah, pretty much just doing the thing. Uh, car is doing great. The check engine light has not come back. The AC is running um, the way it's supposed to. Thank goodness. My my dash um, thermometer right now is saying that it is 94 degrees outside. So it's 94 degrees outside, but it's comfortable in here because my air conditioner is working the way it's supposed to. Um, all systems are go, knock on wood. Pretty sure everything's good here. Um, and... I'm, I'm ready to take this thing out to Mesquite. So that's the other cool thing about this is that we're going to actually get to get him out on the road and like drive him for an hour straight. Um, and, and make sure like give it the shakedown and make sure that everything is, is okay. Thanks everybody for all your support. Um, I had a lot of really supportive comments on my last video talking about the frustration of dealing with all these things and, and everything that's happened with the car since the accident. Um, finding out that it's normal to find like additional repairs after the car is returned to you is, I mean, of course it's disappointing, but um, like, all right, that's normal. That's a thing that people deal with. I'm people, I should be dealing with that too. Um, it's not anything extraordinary or outrageous or anything. So I was like, all right, well, that's nice. Um, and, and beyond that, I'm just trying to keep my sanity in this year traffic jam. Um, it's starting, I'm starting to have those feelings. I'm starting to have those crappy human feelings of, of this is all about me and I need to get to my office and do my things. Me, me, me. I, I, I. That's not good. That's not healthy. It's not a good place to be. So the right thing to do, and I really think this is the right thing to do. The right thing to do is to wrap up this video and um, put on some really, really angry, hateful rap music and get my yayas out. <laughs> and, uh, and just kind of kind of let it ride. Um, so you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned because we're going to have videos coming from Mesquite and a couple other events and, and all kinds of good stuff going on. So, um, if this is your first time on the channel, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing right over here. Um, here's some other things I think you'll enjoy right down here. My name is Catherine. This is Evie's of Nevada. Please remember to like subscribe and smile even when you're stuck in traffic because you can't change it anyway. So you might as well smile. <laughs>